Hi everyone! In this video, I will be talking about what to do if you're in high school and you're thinking about becoming a dentist or going to dental school. If you're new to my channel, my name is Brittany and I am a first year dental student who makes YouTube videos about dental school life and sometimes even about dental school advice. So the reason why I wanted to make this video is because I've noticed that a lot of my viewers are high schoolers that are interested in going to dental school. So I thought, why not do a video like this? But heads up, just wanted to let you guys know, by no means am I a professional. Basically, there's not just one way of doing things. There's so many different ways of getting into the dental school path. So everything I say might not be like the same circumstance for you. So let's get started with the video. First tip that I have for you guys is to learn how to study the right way. So what I mean by that is to take your classes very seriously no matter what classes they may be. Don't procrastinate on studying. I know a lot of times, especially in high school, it's super easy to just wait till the last minute to just cram everything in. This is really not a good study skill to have when you're in high school, when you're in college, and definitely not in dental school. So you want to start early and make sure that you learn how to have the right study habits. Side note, in the future I would like to make a video about how I like to study in dental school, but since this is only my first quarter of dental school, I feel like I haven't really solidified how I like to study, but definitely look for that video in the future. So the second thing is to take advanced classes. So I've seen a lot of comments on my videos asking how should I prepare for dental school if I am in high school and what classes should I take? You want to take the advanced classes because these are the classes that will help you prepare for undergrad and what I'd really like to tell people is that if you want to you know become a dentist and go to dental school you really need to have a good foundation especially in biology and chemistry so that's what I did I took AP biology and AP chemistry and I feel like I definitely got a really good foundation that helped me in undergrad and therefore in dental school Oh, another thing that I do regret is I regret not taking physics. In dental school, at least in my dental school, we don't have to take physics, and I don't think in other schools we have to take physics, but it is one of the prerequisites that you need to take in undergrad to apply to dental school. And since I didn't take physics in high school, I didn't really know what was going on when I was in undergrad taking physics, so I really regret not taking that. The third one, and probably the scariest for me at the time, was to do well on your essay. SATs. You want to do well on your SAT regardless of if you want to be a dentist or not because um, getting good grades and getting a good GPA and getting a good SAT score is what these undergrad colleges are going to look for. So no matter if you want to be a dentist or anything else, an engineer or a lawyer or anything, you want to get those good GPA and good SAT. But the fourth tip is to get involved in extracurricular activities and so sometimes people think that extracurricular activities will help them stand out. So yes and no. The thing is everybody in high school is doing extracurriculars and it's kind of hard to stand out. I feel like you don't really need to stand out per se but if you stick to an extracurricular that you are really into, that you have a passion for, and it's really going to show if you write about it in your essay or something like that. The fifth and probably the most important thing that you could do in high school if you want to go to dental school is to shadow dentists, and this is super important. You might think you want to be a dentist, but once you step into like a dental office or a dental clinic, you realize that you don't like blood. You realize that pointy objects, don't, you don't like it, or you realize that you don't have the patience to deal with a lot of people. This is the thing that you want to be looking for. You want to be shadowing dentists or dental hygienists or any dental specialists to see what they do on an everyday basis and see if this is right for you. I've known a couple or a few people that thought they wanted to be a dentist, so they went to um, but once they started to shadow, they realized it wasn't for them, and that's completely fine. And that brings me to my last point, which is number six, have fun in high school. One thing that I regret is I think I took high school way too seriously. Sure, I got the grades that I wanted, and I got the scores that I wanted, but I feel like I kind of missed out on a lot of high school fun. And 
So it's really important to take breaks and to have fun with your friends and also to take it easier on yourself. Like I said, if you figure out you don't want to be a dentist, that's fine. There's so many different options out there. You're only 14, 16, 17, or 18. Like, it's fine to change your mind. It's hard to say that you want to be a dentist when you're 18, but you could totally change your mind later on in life. It's totally fine. You're still in high school, you're still young, and there's a whole world of possibilities out there. So that concludes my video. If you enjoyed the tips that I had, please like this video. And in the future, I do want to make videos about the DAT and interview and application processes, but I'm just going in order. And that's why I'm starting with high school first. And if you liked this video and wanted to see more, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!